Let us pray. God in heaven, we ask that you would honor this occasion. We ask that you would bless this graduating class. I ask on behalf of those gathered here that you would indeed bless each of these graduates. Give them the grace to make a difference for the good wherever they may find themselves in the years ahead. For those who will pursue further education or for those going directly into the workforce, Lord, grant to them not only the knowledge they will need in their chosen fields, but also wisdom to apply that knowledge to their lives and to the lives of others. May each of these graduates be a blessing to those whose lives they've personally touched. Again, we thank you for all you have done and helped us to achieve. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. You may be seated. I'm Craig McDaniel, and I'm honored to be the president of Georgia Northwestern Technical College, and I want to tell you um, how much I appreciate all of you coming out tonight to support these folks down here that have reached the end of a long journey. And I said many years ago that eventually we would fill up the forum, and we have just about filled up the forum. And uh, we've had a lot of important people in this building over the years. We've had politicians, and we've had professional wrestlers, and I think we even had Willie Nelson here. But we haven't had anybody as important in this building as you down here. There's absolutely nothing that's going on. <clears throat> There's nothing that goes on in education or workforce development or in any community that's any more important than when people decide to go back to school to better themselves and to get some skills that will help them improve their quality of life and the quality of life of their family. And I know some of you have experienced some bad times. Maybe you've lost a job and um, maybe you just got to the point where you said, I've got to go back to school. And for some of you, this is the first educational endeavor that you've had beyond high school. Whatever the reason, that you chose to come to Georgia Northwestern Technical College. I personally want to tell you thank you. I'm very biased. I've been in this business for a long time now, but I think we have the best technical college in Georgia. Our communities think that. I think we have the best staff and faculty of any college in Georgia. And I know you couldn't be where you are today if it weren't for those people sitting behind you there. I want you, if you will, to join me in acknowledging the people on those back two rows there, the staff and the faculty. Our speaker tonight, th this is a very special occasion. It's by far the largest commencement ceremony that we've ever had. And when I invited our speaker to speak tonight, I didn't think we could get him. I really and truly, I thought, well, this is a stretch. There's no way we'll get Dean Alford because he's a very busy man. And he made a commitment to be here tonight. And because he is so busy, he flew into Richard Russell Airport here today. We picked him up. He was transported here. And he's going to speak to you tonight, but the minute that he finishes his speech, he's going to walk out that door and uh, get in a car and go back out to the airport and get on a helicopter and fly to Hartsfield Airport in Atlanta and get on a jet and fly to Tampa because he has to make a speech in Tampa, Florida in the morning at 7.30. So he made a sacrifice to be here, and um, I really and truly appreciate him I know him and I have huge respect. When I read his bio, I think you will understand why he is deserving of that respect. He is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Allied Energy Services and is currently responsible for over $5 billion of energy projects in Central and North America. 
He also serves as the co-chair of the Pine II Energy Coalition. He earned his Bachelor of Electrical Engineering degree from Georgia Tech, and today he serves on several, several boards at Georgia Tech. He is chairman of the Board of Advisors for the College of Engineering, the School of Electrical and Computer Engineering Advisory Board, the Executive Advisory Board of the Economic Development Institute. He is a member of the Executive Committee of the Board of Trustees and chair-elect for the Alumni Association and was awarded the Dean Griffin Award for Community Service in 2001. In 1997, Georgia Tech inducted Mr. Alford into the Academy of Distinguished Engineering Alumni. He is a licensed professional engineer, and in 1989, the Georgia Consulting Engineering Council named him Engineer of the Year in private practice. Mr. Alford is very involved in several educational initiatives. From September of 2003 to December 2006, Mr. Alford served as a member of the State Board of Education for the state of Georgia. In 2004, Governor Purdue asked Mr. Alford to chair the Governor's Education Finance Task Force. In January of 2007, Governor Sonny Purdue appointed him to the Technical College System of Georgia Board of Directors, and he currently serves as its chairman. Governor Nathan Deal appointed Mr. Alford to serve on the Georgia Competitiveness Initiative to focus on job creation and statewide economic development strategy. This effort concentrates on strategic issues and attracting and keeping high paying jobs in Georgia. Infrastructure, innovation, education and workforce development, a friendly business climate, global commerce, and government efficiency. He's also involved in community activities, including Rotary, Boy Scouts of America, and is a founding member of the Miracle League Association. This association is responsible for the, for the development of Miracle Leagues across the country. Today, there are over 150 leagues throughout the United States providing children with physical and mental disabilities the opportunity to play America's favorite pastime, baseball. From 1983 until 1993, Mr. Alford was a five-term member of the Georgia House of Representatives. Of all of his activities and accomplishments, Dean Alford's most enjoyable and important role is that of husband and father. Mr. Alford and his wife, Debbie, have five children and two grandchildren. That's about as impressive a bio as anyone, as anyone that I have ever had the privilege of introducing. Dean has led our system of technical colleges uh, in a very stellar way over the past several years as, a, as the chairman of that board and he cares about Georgia, he cares about workforce development, but most importantly for us, he cares about our technical colleges. I want you to join me in welcoming Dean Alford as our speaker tonight. Thank you, sir. Off the top, appreciate that. <clears throat> President McDaniel, faculty and staff, honored graduates, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is truly an honor to be with you this evening and I will apologize that I do have to leave, but I have this deal with Delta Airlines. If I'm not there, they go ahead without me. And it took me a long time to negotiate that, but I got that deal done, and so I'm delighted with that. Now, I'm the son of a Southern Baptist preacher, and so when my daddy took off his watch to preach, it didn't mean anything, but it's gonna mean something tonight, I promise you that. Now, I will also tell you that if you do not smile, I will talk long. So you need to smile at me while I talk. And enjoy. This is a special night. This is your night. This is a very special night, and you should enjoy it. Absolutely. In the few moments I have with you, and I'm just going to take a few moments with you, I would like for you to consider with me this notion. That by simply remembering tonight, it will be of great benefit to you in the future. Let me say that again to you. I want you to consider the idea that by simply remembering tonight in the future, it will be a great benefit to you in the future. 
And let me tell you what I mean by that. I must admit I have not had the privilege of meeting many of you, and I'm sorry I don't know your name, but I do know your story. It is not because I've read your email, or I know your Facebook, or seen your Twitter. It is because your story, it is your story, that didn't come out right, and I apologize, okay? <laughs> and don't repeat that. Don't go say what I said, okay? My daughter would be embarrassed right now, but anyhow. Where was I? Oh, okay. <clears throat> but the reason I know your story is there's many who've come before you with a similar story. And let me tell you what we've learned from them and what I want you to remember. The first thing I want you to remember is this. How many of you honestly would say to me, somewhere in this process, I thought about quitting? Raise your hand. Now, those who didn't raise their hand are lying. <laughs> you thought about it. You honest to God thought about it. Many of you, though, thought about it. You sit in your car or you sit at home and you really gave some thought about quitting. But guess what you did not do? You did not quit. Congratulations. And by you not quitting, it sure does feel good, doesn't it? I want you to remember that because in days to come, you will think about quitting something else in the future. And I want you to remember how good it feels not to quit. I want you to know what it's like to, to run right through that, that demon that wants you to quit. And what you will learn as the years go by is the more times you don't quit, the less likely you are to quit in the future. And you just got to understand that that it is a natural phenomenon sometimes to want to quit. Listen, the easiest thing in the world to do is nothing. And you didn't do that. You overcame great obstacles to be here. You didn't quit. Our state will benefit because you didn't quit. Because the reality of it is we have too many folks who did quit, who didn't hunker down and do what it took to get to this point. So that's the first thing I want you to remember. The second thing I want you to remember is the plan that you had of how you were going to get here tonight didn't go quite the way you planned. Boy, things were real different sometimes along the way. There's an astronaut by the name of John Young, and John Young went to Georgia Tech, and I've had the privilege of sitting and being with John on several occasions. And one time I asked John, I said, John, what was the most unique thing that you learned about going to the moon? And he said it was this. He said, we spent years developing a plan, the flight plan, to go to the moon. But in the course of the flight, we made 20,000 course corrections. 20,000 course corrections. Listen, what I want you to remember is things didn't go quite the way you planned, but you still did it. And in the future, sometimes things aren't going to go quite the way you plan but you stick to the course. You stay the course. I have to tell you, when I was in college, one summer, my summer job fell through, and, my, uh, and I began to I lied to my mom and my daddy, and I told them that I had another job, but what I'd gotten was a job as a cab driver in Atlanta. That was not very smart. But let me tell you what I learned about Atlanta doing that. I learned where all the back roads are. And so, my family now kind of makes fun of me because sometimes when the traffic backs up in Atlanta, I'll take one of the detours and we go the back roads and they, do you know where you're going? I said, yes. And one of the things I've learned about taking those detours is it wasn't the way I planned, but the detour sure can be a lot of fun. It can be real special. Go by places I haven't been in years and see things. Listen, enjoy the detour when it happens because it's going to happen to you. Remember that. The third thing and the last thing I want you to remember is this. Boy, do not forget about those who helped you get here tonight. Let me tell you, don't forget that. <clears throat> now, some of those folks, you'll get the opportunity tonight and in the days ahead to say thank you. And please don't take that for granted. Don't just assume they know you appreciate them. Put your arms around them and hug their neck and tell them how much you appreciate them. But there are some people 
that you won't get to see again or whatever, and you'll never get to say thank you, but I want to show you how you say thank you to them. You say thank you to them by you being that person for someone else. Let me tell you, we have a state full of children in our K-12 system that need to be encouraged to finish the task. And you need to encourage them to finish this. Georgia has 9.7 million citizens. We have 1.3 million over the age of 18 that does not have a high school diploma. We had 40,000 students last year to drop out of our high school systems. You need to find some of them and put your arm around them and encourage them. You have to understand that there are many who will enter the doors of your schools, your technical college this year, and they're going to want to quit. You find one of them and you encourage them, and that is the best way for you to say thank you is by you doing that to someone else. I would share with you in closing this. You cannot imagine what you've really accomplished. Because sometimes we think everybody lives in the same world we do. But let me give you some startling statistics, if I may. And this comes from Complete College America, and it goes like this. Today in Georgia, if you take 100 ninth graders, only 56 will graduate from our high schools. Of those 56, 16 of them will go to our two-year schools, including our technical colleges. Of those 16, only seven will come back for the second year. And only three will sit where you're sitting. You did something big. You've accomplished a lot. Don't quit. Enjoy the detour and extend that helping hand to someone else. God bless you. We're so proud of you. Good evening, my name is Jeff King and I serve as provost for Georgia Northwestern Technical College. And before we do uh, the honor, the honor graduates, I would like to say one thing about Mr. Offer when he said that he doesn't quit and he uh, told you that you didn't quit. The airplane that he was going to fly up here from Atlanta had mechanical problems. He flew from Atlanta to Rome in a helicopter without any doors. And he's about to fly from Rome back to Atlanta in a helicopter without any doors. So that man did not quit either, so he lives by what he says. Okay, now, it's time to recognize our honor graduates and our high honor graduates for this graduating class. Our honor graduates have maintained a 3.5 to 3.99 grade point average. These honor graduates are wearing silver cords. Please stand. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Our high honor graduates have made a four, maintained a 4.0 grade point average. These high honor graduates are wearing gold cords. Would you please stand? Thank you. What an accomplishment. Now it is time to award the associate degrees, diplomas, and certificates. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Dr. Melinda McCannon, the Vice President of, e of Academic Affairs for Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Thank you.
Will the candidates please rise? Dr. McDaniel, these students have satisfactorily completed the approved course of study for their respective programs. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, I am pleased to present them to you for the conferring of the appropriate degree, diploma, and certificate. By the authority vested in me by the state of Georgia and the Technical College System of Georgia, I hereby confer upon you your respective degrees, diplomas, and certificates with all of the rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. The following students have earned the Associate of Applied Science, Accounting, Michelle L. Olive. Taryn Ann Carlisle. Lisa Cassell. Glenna Farmer. Kelly Garland. Mary Beth McNeese. Leanne R. Mendoza. Craig C. Moore. Elizabeth Peace. Jocelyn Ridley. Nancy Ann Smith. Business Administrative Technology, Karen Sally Albers. Janice Elaine Brewster. Sherry Harrington. Gail Lanier. Catherine A. McCary. Alicia Reed. Computer Support Specialist, Networking Specialist, Sandra Lee Albritton. Luella Ruth Burrows. J.C. Connell. Margie Freeman. Brad Johnson. Jose Muichas. Madison Matthews. Robert Craig Mullinax. Ken Nipper. Dorothy Ramage. Carolyn Sutton. Patrick T. Young. Regina Darlene Abbott, Criminal Justice. Criminal Justice, Alicia Ann Black. Amy Lauren Cooper. Craig Delaney. Tanya Fee. Morgan Joan Fowler. Heather Hatton. Clarissa K. Height. Amelia Z. 
Johnson. Shelly Draught Johnson. Brianna Nicole Jones. Vincent P. Staley. James Clifton Temples. Paige Wilson. Patrick Mahon. Eric S. McDonald. Chris Mills. Clyde Moore. Michael C. Morris. Brian Z. Mullinax. Jeff Smith. Ernest Richie Stevens, Jr. Early Childhood Education, Tara K. Chambers. Chantel Diane Collins. Tabitha Danielle Davis. Lisa Jolene Elrod. Charmaine Kilgo. Lauren Elise Holder. Kendra McLemore. Dawn Pierce. Laura Reese. Christy Reynolds. Lakeisha Hollingsworth Veach. Gary Lawrence Hovers, Industrial Systems. Industrial Systems, Charles Edward Steed. Internet Specialist and Website Design, Mary Ferris. Management Supervisory Development, Jerry Ann Banks. Ronnie Banks. Trey Creech. Kimberly J. Curtis. Norval Terry Henderson. Janelle Michelson. Victoria Lynn Proctor. Kimberly D. Steele. Kathy Stevenson. Andrea Lynn Battles. Samuel Islam Jr. Marketing Management Michael Joseph Larson. Ryan Andrew Robinson. Medical Office Management, Melissa N. Green. Networking Specialist, David Derrick. Jim Sears. Neuromuscular Therapy, Jennifer Nicole Moon. <laughs> Teresa Marie Reasendes. <laughs> Occupational Therapy Assistant, Whitney Michelle Anderson. <laughs> Justin Lamar, Canada. Kristen Michelle Davenport. Priscilla Leanne Green. Larry Hall. Haley Howard Hankins. 
Donna Leith. Lindsay Lee. PJ Smith. Laura Thomas. Laura Tomlin. Mindy Wade. Radiologic Technology, Lauren Casey King. Shane Presley. Respiratory Care, Bevan Boyd. Tony D. Camps. Randall Cumby. Tammy D. Davis. Leah Danielle Fajardo. Katir Franche Good. Rita C. Lovelace. Rachel McClung. Joe Anderson McKee. LaShunda Chanel Nunnery. Haley Nicole Riley. Leo Joseph Roche. Lee Austin Fletcher. Social Work Assistant, Heather Denise Bowles. Carla Elaine Birchfield. Viola Hardy. Surgical Technology, Andrew S. Williams. Vascular Technology, Karina Ann Fowler. The following students have earned the associate degree nursing. Amanda Lee Adams. Annette McAllister Crawford. Kara Brown Edson. Mandy Michelle Fox. Lori Candelin Gass. Amy Trapp Hutchins. Aileen Kimin Yi. Misty May Maddox. Melissa Gail McNabb. Jerry Elaine Quarles. Kelly L. Tucker. Michelle Wagner. Jacqueline Ware. The following students have earned the diploma. In accounting, Robert J. Harper. Cynthia L. Harrell. Sheila Self. Air conditioning technology, Jonathan Curtis Brown. For Norris Finney. Matthew Engel, Stephen Jones, Brandon Rivera, Jackie Wooten, Automotive Collision Repair, Luke Mays, Alonzo Watkins, 
Automotive Fundamentals, Benito Aviles. Michael W. Dwyer. Eric Perez. Business Administrative Technology, Melinda Diane Baza. Kathy Beck. Karen Blaylock. Valerie Brown Boyd. Amber Nicole Chapman. Patrice G. Collins. April Lynn Edgeworth. Cynthia K. Howell. Susan Martin. Shannon Marie Morgan. Kay Pinson. Lindsay Ridge. Lynn Smith. Vivian Lee Spinks. Stephanie L. Welchel. Ashley Mariah Young. Alfred Eric Stanley. Computer Support Specialist, Dre Gonzalez. Tyler R. Simpson. Amal M. Tamini. Computer Support Specialist, April M. Wright. Cosmetology, Brittany Bennett. Lisa Cook. Chelsea Lauren McCullough. Christina Marie Peters. Brandy Potts. Stephanie Fairs Pruitt. Candy Rhodes. Criminal Justice, Crystal Croft. Abraham Galvin. Manda Marie Holland. Celestia Aline Jackson. Farah Tamika Kinnamore. Early Childhood Education, Bridget Dowdy. Felicia Jill Fuquay. Environmental Horticultural, Samuel Lance Adams III. Ashley Cologne. Jenna Knight. Evan Marino. Danny Simpson. Wesley Terrell. John Tidwell. Electrical Control Systems, James Brad Harris. Industrial Systems Technology, Charles R. Dingler. Industrial Electrical Technology, Andrew Duck. Eric Ferner. Ben Head. James H. Jacobs II. Brian K. Jordan. James N. Shores, Jr. Anthony L. Watley, Sr. Michael Keith Williams. Industrial Systems Technology. Machine Tool Technology, Joshua Wayne Elder. Daryl S. Finley. Marketing Management, Deborah Castillo. Clara Sade Yancey Warren. Medical Assisting, Sherry Broom. Tabitha Hope Brown. Tina Cruz. 
Lamisha Diamond. Sonia Lynn English. Janet Escudia. Lee Marie Fricks. Monique Henderson. Ashley Hopkins. Vicki Sharice Jones. Brooke Mercer. Amanda Pritchett. Pamela Jean Rackley. Joanne B. Reynolds. Amanda Robertson Slayton. Lee Ann Smith. Brianna Lynn Snow. Wendy Southern. Jessica Walker. April D. Wright. Wendy York. Neuromuscular Therapy, Krista Dunn. Brittany Shanae Fife. Liliana Hernandez. Kyle Howren. Miriam B. Sama. Charles Smith. Nadia Vasquez. Sherry Westmoreland. Deanna Flores Wright. For paramedic Technology, Philip Boylan. Sarah M. Boylan. Jason Daniel Proctor. Carrie E. Shaw. Pharmacy Technology, Melissa Beth Adams. Raydell Byran Dykes. Teresa Renee Jackson. Amanda Reese. Rhonda Roderick. Amanda Lachey Tucker. Practical Nursing, Misty a. Davis. <laughs> Meredith Dryden. <laughs> Crescetta Franchelle Finley. <laughs> Relicia Garrett. <laughs> Amanda McCraw. <laughs> Tammy Lynn McKinney. Heather Miller. Misty Michelle Miller. Silver Shea Denise Peace. Kristen Nicole Rivers. Christy Nicole Brown Sheely. Jessica Lynn Smith. Shannon Dawn Tucker. Tina Lynn Waters. Social Work Assistant Jennifer Marie Ball. Darcy Renee Holcomb. Surgical Technology Darika Ansley Dudley. Sandra Michelle Hembry. Welding and Joining Technology, Joe Davis. Byron Cole Irwin. Cody George Hayes. Roy Neubauer. Receiving the Technical Certificate of Credit and Cabinet Making Technician, Joel Whittle. Child Development Specialist, Jacqueline K. Shropshire. Early Childhood Care and Education Basics, Leandra Lene Wood. Gas Metal Arc Welding, Taylor S. Pullum. Healthcare Assistant with Phlebotomy Specialization, Kimberly M. Coleman. Elizabeth A. Lawler. 
Wendy D. Seal, Healthcare Assistant. Philip M. Self, Mammography Certificate, Lola Edward. Medical Coding, Crystal Yvonne Allen. Megan Callen. Deneen Camp. Kathleen Cricket Leeks. Lashima Lester. Sarah Petty McCombs. Melissa Pilgrim. Martha Ray. Medical Language Specialist, Carol Ann Jones. Medical Office Assistant, Haley Beckham. Sarah Bliss Burton. Amanda R. Camp. Glenda E. Collins. Sabrina Deming. Heather Nicole Price. Ashley Wheat. Patient Care Assisting, Mandy Abney. Lily Lopez. Angie Waits. Phlebotomy Technician, Amber Bennett. Cassie Daniels. Dory Aline Jones. Shantae Lachey Ramsey. Before we march out tonight, I want all of you to join me in congratulating these folks down here. And the, uh, the, the fellow that used to be over the International Olympic Committee at the end of every Olympics would declare the Olympics as the greatest ever. He did it every year except for when it was in Atlanta. I never have gotten to the point where I understand that, but I have attended graduating and commencement ceremonies for Coosa Valley Tech and Georgia Northwestern for over 30 years now. And I'm going to declare this the greatest graduating class in the history of Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Congratulations, we're proud of you. Thank you.